Hey everybody, so I am here at the shooting range, like I said yesterday, but it is a good time to practice and whatnot, and I have several magazines and uh, this new M1A tanker that I need to test out and make sure that it's shooting true. So I want to put that in my truck and have it as a go-to rifle from now on since it's a shorter version of my beloved M1A. Uh, but this one is shorter and it's a, a lot easier to maneuver, especially in the brushes of Alaska. So we're going to do some shooting today. Make sure that everything is in uh, top order, as it should be. Of course, uh, I brought my Glock with me as well. Um, about six magazines or so I'll be shooting today. So a couple of hundred rounds. See where we are. And this is the shooting range that we go to. And that... Right there is the stop. It's pretty much a mountain. So I'm gonna set the camera, do a little bit of shooting, and we can talk more later. I gotta tell you, I'm not a big fan of Glocks. You probably know this, I'm a 1911 person, but I can't deny that the Glock thus far has not had a single issue, not once. So it's just one of those things, I guess. I just wanna say that. And as I continue to put it to the pace and just try it out, I will continue to give you guys updates. But thus far, the Glock is performing. I still don't like the curve. I still think it's not sexy at all. I don't, I don't think it's a it's a gun that is a, a visually appealing. But when it comes to performance, thus far, hasn't failed. So let's continue shooting. Alright guys, so I gotta tell you, thus far the M1A 
tanker is really sweet although it's a 16 inch barrel the muscle brake does the job like advertised it, it doesn't kick as bad as a 4570 and you have that 20 round magazine i just did a 20 round uh standing up it was fairly good i mean i didn't have a lot of issues and again i am shooting um targets at 100 yards open side i think if i made everything in the black i think we good um open size is not for extreme accuracy as long as you hit the the mass you will be good uh, you got to remember though i am in alaska so animals here are large the moose is a lot bigger than the target that i have down range and a bear is a lot bigger than the target that i have out range so 308 does far um m1a 308 does far it's performing really performance wise is really good i can't complain so gonna get the target and i think i'm done for the day so talk to you once i get home and give you my final impressions and of course before we head home i wanted to show you a little bit of alaska beauty this is the china river you guys this is the river nearest to our house and this is beautiful it is beautiful i gotta tell you it doesn't matter how many times um i see these old things it's just it's just beautiful and you guys can see it but i can see the trouts just all around there now in here you can fish but it's catch and release so that's the only bad thing but there are fish in this river and look at that you guys look at that beautiful just beautiful all right so i am back in the house on my way back i called mrs d to let her know that the rifle did perform really well uh obviously no malfunctions with the uh the glock i keep keep testing it and it keeps functioning well i i don't know what to say i don't know what to say it is it is it's working it's working i slowly changing my mind uh with the glock i mean this is it's not my favorite and i don't think it will ever be my favorite but it's one of those things that <sighs> i guess i'm learning to love the ugliness that's that's the best way i can put it um and you guys are seeing that i'm unloading a load of water because mrs d uh when i spoke to her the first thing she said she's like don't forget to get water on your way back so that's that's a life that we're living here we don't have um, water unless we haul our own so that's what we're doing but i want to talk to you about the uh m1a tanker um i have to tell you that i am very very pleased the way it, it did perform uh, I am very pleased uh, with the recoil. It is not uh, it's, as heavy. And I know I mentioned before, it's a lot less than the 4570, but I, I venture to say it is as equal as the 3030. Um, no big deal. I can handle the 3030 all day long. A lot less than the 3006, but not as quite heavy as the 4570. Um, I enjoyed it to tell you the truth it was it was pleasant it was pleasant i don't think i'm gonna get bruised or anything i usually get bruised when the 4570 it, it just kicks kicks really hard and you have that semi-auto availability right there the follow-up shots plus you got a 20 round magazine if you want to rack that 20 round magazines if not use the 10 if you're not able to do it because of laws and your state well i'm pretty sure there will be five or something somewhere around there i don't have that restriction here so i don't have to worry about that now the other thing that i want to encourage everybody is if you have never looked into thermocell mosquitoes are out y'all the uh area that i was in plenty of mosquitoes i mean i i pull in and mosquito was just all over me um all over the car to say i got this out i put it in my belt or in my pocket you guys probably saw it in the video no mosquitoes i mean they just go away they 
don't like this. And I have been using this for years now. So if you had never tried Thermacell, I would strongly encourage you to give it a try. I'm not sponsored by them. I just love this product. I really do. So mosquito season is here. If you want to go to the range like I did and don't rush out because the mosquitoes are just way too much, well, there's a solution for you, Thermocell. So again, the M1A tanker, a very good rifle. Very pleased, just really well. Uh, you won't get the accuracy uh, from a match rifle. That's it. That's all the water in there. You can I always tell by that sound. So, like I was saying, you can't expect the accuracy of a longer barrel. It's a 16 inch barrel. But everything, all the shots were in target. So, I'm good with that. Open side, you know, old fashioned. I don't want to put a scope in it. I have, I'm a big fan of having scopes, believe it or not. You can never go wrong with open sides. So, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you all today. I had a lot of fun. It was just me, Mrs. D, um, was unable to come with me. Lass have a previous engagement too. Uh, yes, I know. An eight-year-old with previous engagements. Go figure. It happens. It does happen. So I have to get the ATVs ready and the trailer ready because apparently for Father's Day, Lass wants me to take him riding. I thought it was supposed to be about fathers, but apparently, I, I don't know. I'm just going along with the ride, so we're just going to have a family day. So with that being said, thank you guys for being here with me. Hopefully you enjoy me at the shooting range or seeing me at the shooting range. You get an idea of the things that I do, and I do like to practice quite a bit. That way, I know at least that my equipment is functioning well. So hope you have a great one. Like I always rock on. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.